most interesting. Watch how you swinging that sword, bro. I'm just saying. That's right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know thumbs up bro we have new nintendo switch hardware rumors slash leaks and when the news drops it's my duty my obligation as a long time Nintendo fan to deliver it to you guys you know what I'm saying I give you the raw unadulterated Nintendo switch news boy I mean, we got um, some Xbox and PlayStation news in this video too but the first one that caught my attention was this hardware leak this is very interesting also we're coming to the end of the month the giveaway is about to drop at the beginning of june links in the description let's get to the news all right this is coming from hothardware.com but there's multiple sources also reporting on this they're saying the current nintendo switch Lite is powered and we already know this the current switch is powered by the tegra x1 and nvidia back in it this this hard this um hardware first debuted back in made a debut back in 2015 however the next gen switch might leave nvidia in favor of a hybrid system on the chip courtesy of samsung and amd <laughs> this is huge this would mean AMD would have a monopoly on the hardware console platforms. So according to this leak, N N Nintendo could be making a switch from Nvidia to AMD for their next gen platform. I'm going to tell you why this makes sense and why it might not. First, if um, Nintendo wants to have their ports done as easy as possible playstation 5 will be on amd um 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 xbox series x amd and so for this for nintendo to also partner with amd for their next um gen system it would make sense for familiarity with developers amd 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 consistency all the way through but and this article is also saying um, if you recall, Samsung and AMD announced a multi-year agreement back in June 2019 to infuse next-gen system on the chip with RDNA-based Radeon graphics. All right, <coughs> now this is where it gets juicy. Nintendo is tipped to be among the first third-party partners to adopt this new hybrid SoC. So they're saying that Nintendo is one of the first companies to adopt this new technology um, for their next gen system which means the next system is going to be a handheld hybrid as well um, if they're saying that it should give the switch a significant boost not only in processing performance compared to the current switch but also vastly su superior gra uh, su a vastly superior graphic subsystem in recent leaks, leak benchmarks, this new system on the chip from AMD um, for, uh, for Samsung, this is a mobile AMD um, um, chipset. The graphics benchmarks alone absolutely pummel the relatively stock Adreno 650 G GPU found in Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 SoC. What this all means is, according to this article, is that on the next gen switch if they adopt this hardware we'll see playstation 4 and xbox one caliber graphics in 
a future Switch handheld form factor, which would be what the Switch needs. Because for the next two years, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will be held back in some capacity by current gen hardware. Why? The, the PlayStation 4 has sold over 100 million. It's at 100 million by now. And last time I checked, it was in the 90 millions. It should be over 100 million by now. But PlayStation 4 has around 100 million consoles sold. Developers, they want to um, have games for the PlayStation 5, but they also do not want to leave behind 100, and 100 million potential customers. And so they're going to be catering to both markets. The, it, um, the rate in which developers focus more on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will be dependent on how fast these next-gen systems take off. I'm telling you, for some reason, PlayStation consoles always sell good. Ever since the place I've owned every single PlayStation console. Ever since the PlayStation 1, PlayStation, PlayStation 1 killed it, PlayStation 2 killed it. PlayStation 3 started off slow, but they um, caught their stride halfway through the gen. PlayStation 4 is running away with it. So, there's nothing that says the PlayStation 5 is going to take. As, as much as Sony has been horrible with promoting the PlayStation 5, that PlayStation 5 reveal event where Mark Surdy was garbage. But, if you look at all the polls, that there's been polls on the internet on which console you're getting, PlayStation 5 is still killing um, the Xbox Series X as well as um, Microsoft has been advertising their next-gen system. So, do not count Sony out next-gen. And so, new Nintendo hardware based on AMD instead of NVIDIA. Now, this is why I think it might not happen. Um, Nintendo has had success with NVIDIA, and <coughs> when the Switch first launched, um, they said that they were going to be with NVIDIA for quite a few years. Maybe these quite a few years just entails the current Switch model. Switch is going to try to max out. The current Switch console isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It's the most, it's the least powerful system, but it's selling like crazy. Animal Crossing, 13 million Units. This is a Nintendo first party game running at 30 frames per second. No reason why this game shouldn't be 60 frames because it's just one island. There's not a whole bunch of dynamic weather or anything crazy going on. But the game runs at 30 frames per second and no one cares. I immediately, the very first thing is crazy. The very first thing when I um, played Animal Crossing was this game's running at 30 frames per second. Nintendo first party game. M Mario Odyssey is way more graphically intense than Animal Crossing. And Mario Odyssey is 60 frames. I get it. Mario Odyssey is a platformer. You're not doing much in Animal Crossing. So Nintendo probably just didn't see the necessity for... But just quality, quality. But um, what do you guys think of this? And this next news item ties right into this Switch hardware. And why <laughs> Nintendo needs a Switch Pro sooner rather than later. I think Nintendo shouldn't wait for the current Switch model to die before they come out with a new system. While the momentum is high for the Switch, launch a next-gen console. Don't be like the Wii. Wait till the, for the Wii to tank, and it was too late. And the Wii U, we know what happened with the Wii U. But, this next news item. And I had to call Nintendo out, bro, on Twitter, bro. Go follow me on Twitter. That's how you get in the giveaway. You gotta follow me on Twitter and subscribe right here on YouTube. $60 digital code. But, I tweeted out on Twitter. Let me get my tweet real quick. This is my this is Madden. I'll come back to Madden. Uh, let me go to my profile. Um this is what I just tweeted out on Twitter. I already pre-ordered Xenoblade Definitive Edition. But no excuses for a game in 2020 on a home console to be running as low as 550p and as low as 378 P in handheld I don't care how y'all try to spin this no excuses Xenoblade Xenoblade Chronicles definitive edition on the, the Nintendo switch uh, as reported by game explain um, at dock it runs as low as five it's a dynamic scaling resolution from 550 to 720p in dock 
and then handheld as low as 378p all the way up to 550p. <sighs> I try not to be negative about Nintendo, but I can't try to lie and just spin stuff, bro. I just got to keep it real. No excuses, bro. In 2020, and this is a Nintendo first party game. In 2020, no reason why Z um, Xenoblade should not be at 1080p. 1080p minimum, bro. That's the expectation, bro. Come on, 1080p is not a lot for 2020, bro. And this just highlights the need for Nintendo needs, um, in my opinion, should have a more powerful hardware choice for gamers who want that better quality experience. I mean, some dudes don't care, but it's nice. No one could argue about having nicer graphics. I mean, resolution and frame rate, bro. And so, Xenoblade, I'm not saying not taking away from the game. I'm not saying the game is more than likely going to be a great game. I've already preloaded the game, so I'm hooked in. I'm going to get it, even though I have to keep it a buck. I'm about to beat Final Fantasy VII uh, today on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship on YouTube. I will be playing the final chapter in Final Fantasy VII. Great game. I'm probably want, The next game I probably want to beat, though, is either um, Spider-Man or Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm trying to clear out my backlog for this current gen. I'm still going to be playing Xenoblade, but <laughs> there's other games to play, too. All right. Um, video's getting longer than I expected. Next. What? What? No. Replay that Madden launch trailer, bro. Um, Madden, Madden, Madden. We're going to be getting Madden news. Um, we're getting some Madden news on June First, according to the official Madden Twitter, first look, the first look coming soon and June 1st, 2020 is the date that they marked. So check your calendar. I'm a Madden head. I used to be a real big Madden dude um, back in the day. I was the number one ranked Madden player on the Wii U. That's right. You're looking at the best Nintendo Madden player for an entire generation. I used to be on Madden heavy, man, on the Xbox 360. Um... I'm a casual Madden player now, but I buy the game every year. Don't know what console I'm going to get it on next gen, bro. Uh, either a Series X or PlayStation 5, whichever console impresses me after the summer the most. Um, but um, June 1st, I'm going to check it out, see what, it, what holds for Madden. And the last news item for this video, Minecraft Dungeon drops um, tomorrow. I will be also live streaming some Minecraft Dungeons. If you're getting the game, let me know. I'm getting in on my Xbox because I have Game Pass. It's a no-brainer, free with my subscription. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash one plays You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.